Welcome back to Studio 41, brought to you by the Hummingbird Stage and Tap Room. Welcome back to Studio 41. We're here at the Hummingbird Stage and Tap Room with the duo Vertical Focus. That was a song, Stepping Backwards. We're going to meet Jay Mobley and Robbie Saltz right now. Gentlemen, welcome to the show. Nice to be here. All right, Jay, you've been playing music in Middle Georgia for a long, long time. Yeah, a little Picked up a guitar at 14. age 14. So what's that, 10 years, 15 years? Oh, it's almost 20 now. Really? What kind of guitar do you like to play best? Uh, I really enjoy my Washburn more than anything. It's yeah. just real easy to play, and I can do more of my... Uh, my my rhythm stuff on it so okay you do mostly music full time yes that's all i do right now okay so play. and you and robbie recently got together that's that's something that's happened in just the last month or two yeah yeah i understand you're you've got a couple of gigs already lined up here around yeah, town we got a uh, one in moultrie georgia already okay. so yeah all right robbie what do you do besides play music i'm a surgical technician as well okay. You live here in Middle Georgia? Yes, sir. From Surgical Georgia. Tech? Yes, sir. While you're operating on people, you're thinking about I'm thinking music? thinking about music and right. how can I do that? I really do. <laughs> <laughs> Who does the writing for Vertical Focus? Uh, Jay, mostly right now. Yeah. Uh, okay. But I've got, uh, got a lot of input as well. And, uh, All right. Well, we're, well, we're going to collaborate more. Again, me and him are really just a, kind of a new thing. So okay. we've both been in the music thing for a minute or just putting this to a test. You know, I've, I've watched your shows for, for a number of years, and one thing that's always struck me is that, that you know, you're, you're out doing a, doing a performance in, you know, usually in a bar, usually where smoking and drinking is involved, yet, yet it, uh, it always seems that, that there's a, a biblical, biblical undertone, if not a biblical overtone. Why don't we start off with the name of the group? Tell me where vo Vertical Focus came from. Well, I was uh, at church, and the, the pastor was delivering this awesome sermon and basically the bottom line he said we need to have a more of a vertical focus and right. we just need to focus on God more and I truly believe if Jesus was here now he would be in the bars you know okay. he's going to be where all where the sick was, people are right? Time, right thank you so um so vertical focus came from a from a sermon mm -hmm. what about stepping backwards where'd that come from well I, I had a, a bad drug problem um over 15 years ago uh, Something like that, and uh, when I wrote that song, I was in a pretty dark place. And right. So I, I had a moment of where I was clean for a while, and then I'd slip up, and that's where that song came from. And messed up a lot of things. So you look like you're doing okay now. Right? I'm doing really good. So I've been very blessed this last year. So the next song we're going to hear from you is "Save Me," and you wrote that as well. I did. Tell me a little bit about "Save Me." Uh, when my wife and I were dating, we were uh, texting, and I was at work, not supposed to text at work, that's all right. Um, <laughs> she said we were talking about our past relationships and all that, and mostly everyone just wants to feel safe. And she said something in the text, well, maybe you could save me too. I went home on my lunch break and I wrote the song. I really? just was so inspired by that, and so I just, that's where it came from. What did she say the first time you played it for her? She really liked it, so she tried not to cry. You know, she, but she did anyway. Uh, she's one of those people. She's so sweet at heart. She cries at you know the the doggy commercial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One thing that you had mentioned to me before the show was that it's it's really important to not get stale in a market. What are you what are you doing statewide, region wide to to make sure that doesn't happen here? Well, I try to bounce around to different places. Okay. Like, yeah, you know, I've been. I love playing in Central Georgia because I'm from Macon, right. so it's more it's convenient. But uh, I mean, I just I go to other places. Like we've gone to. I played in Tennessee, Albany, Moultrie, and they they're really receptive of what we're doing. It's just not being there all the time. Right. That way, they get something different. And a lot of these places, they want more your country southern rock, which is great. But I I don't play that I play you know here how would you define your the music that you like to play the best well I'm a 90s kid so okay. I love Nirvana Pearl Jam Alice in Chains right. pop groups there so it just varies like I've, I've been inspired by so many different artists it can go from Nirvana to Goo Goo Dolls to a Megadeth style are, are we going to hear 90s covers or versions versions of 90s covers influences of 90s covers or are we going to hear Jay Mobley and Robbie Saltz and you're probably going to hear more of the a 90s with my twist to it and then you know with some Christian influence now so okay yeah 
Robbie, what about you? Uh, my influence is more blues and funk and jazz. That's kind, okay. of, kind of my thing. But uh, maybe just a little uh, different sound into it and uh, kind of see how it works out. Uh, it's working out pretty well so far. So it's awesome. we'll see where it goes. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm looking forward to it. When we come back, it's going to be Jay Mobley and Robbie Sauls with Vertical Focus on the stage here at the Hummingbird Studio 41, my 41.2 playing Save Me. Don't go away. You're watching Studio 41, brought to you by the Hummingbird.